Hi, and welcome to the First Rule Nerd Club. I'm Paul, I'm your host. In today's deck tech, we have Rexiel, the Risen Deep. Using his ability, we get to steal other people's instant and sorceries that we're going to put into their graveyard. The plan of the deck is to make sure that their graveyards are full of cards. We'll do this by using creatures that when they attack, the opponents have to mill. We'll use cards that when opponents attack us, they also have to mill. And we'll also be using cards that make them mill half their library in one single go. So if that's something you're interested in, then keep watching the deck tech. So let's read what the commander is bringing to the table. So it's Rexor the Risen Deep. It's got Island Walk and Swamp Walk, which is great. Uh, whenever Rexiel, the Risen Deep, deals combat damage to a player, you may cast an instant or sorcery card from that player's graveyard without paying its mana cost. If that spell would be put into a graveyard, exile it instead. Which is a fantastic card, and the ability is fantastic, but this is a secret mill deck. Obviously, people want to know we're going to mill, but it's secret because we generally aren't going to be bringing our commander out. We're not going to really be using that ability unless there's really something in the graveyard that we think, you know what, we will need that card and we'll use it. So we're not actually really going to play our commander. It's a bit of a false commander. What we want to do is hopefully use all the cards in the deck just to mill everyone out. So that's the plan that we've got with the commander. So how are we going to play the deck? So turn one, hopefully you'll have maybe uh, Ruin Crab or Hedron Crab in your hand. So when you play them out on the first turn, they're going to give you so many benefits and value because every time you play a land, the opponents are going to be, you know, obviously milling cards straight away. Turn two, there's a couple ways you can go about it. You can either start playing some Mana Rocks, so maybe Talisman of Donovan's or maybe Arcane Signet, uh, maybe Ornithopter of uh, Paradise. Obviously, if you don't have that in your hand, then maybe you could play spells like Mind Sculpt, Glimpse of the Unthinkable. So basically what you're trying to do is mill as many cards as you can, so then the opponent thinks, oh, we must be just filling my graveyard, just so then when he brings his commander out, he's got some cards to play. But that's not what we're trying to do. Turn three. This is kind of like a pretend turn, or it kind of like... What you're trying to do is set up so people think that you are going to get your commander to come through. So there's things like uh, contaminated ground or spreading seas, which basically you put it on an opponent's land and it turns it into either a swamp or an island. This is great because obviously if you do need to bring your commander out because you want to actually steal an instant sorcery, then you can. But it's kind of like leading them into a false sense, false sense of security that you are bringing the card out to play. Now turn four, this is where you really want to start setting up and hopefully getting in place the cards that you need to mill everyone out or get everyone to get loads of damage. So you can use cards like Blood Chief Ascension and Minecrank. Basically these two cards here will get them milling all their cards out as well as doing damage at the same time so you can basically kill people. If you can get them out on turn four and wait for them to mill a card, you've already won the game if no one stops you. So this can, this, if you can get the right cards out you can win quite quickly with this deck. Now if obviously there isn't many good cards in their graveyards, there's no point bringing your commander out. So we just keep going the way we're going, so there's things like uh, Court of Cunning, Memory Erosion, or Frey Insanity. Each of these are going to keep milling out the opponent and keep getting them to obviously keep building up their graveyards. Turn 5 is pretty much like turn 4, this is honestly where you need to be getting your alternative win cons in position so then you can win the game by milling them out or doing loads of damage. Now if you find a value in this video then please like and subscribe, we've got up to about 52 subscribers and I'm really proud of that but let's try and get a bit further and try and get this channel up a bit further. Now, there is two honourable mentions in this deck, and I've already mentioned them on turn one. If you can bring out uh, Ruin Crab or Hendron Crab, then these two are just amazing, and they'll do constantly be doing a lot of work for you this whole game. So the alternate win cons is pretty much what we try to do on turn four, if you've got it, is Blood Chief Ascension and Mind Crank, which ultimately uh, makes the opponents either mill their cards or basically lose damage. It, it, whichever comes first, either mill out the full deck or they get obviously 40 damage or whatever damage there is. Alternative win con number two is Dusk Mantle Guild Mage and Maddening Cacophony. I can never pronounce it. Basically, these kill everyone uh, by what you do is you play, you have uh, 
Dusk Mantle Guild Mage on the battlefield. You play its first ability, so whenever a person discards or obviously puts a card into their graveyard, they uh, lose one life. You play the uh, Madden, uh, whatever it's called. Basically, they have to mill half of their library and then each opponent loses one life per card that obviously gets put to the graveyard, which is fantastic. Wing con number three is you use the same Dusk Mantle, uh, but you use Mind Crank instead. Uh, you obviously play the first ability of Dusk Mantle, and then obviously, as long as you can get them to mill a card, that every time they mill a card through mill, uh, the, like the mill through the Mind Crank, then it does one damage to the Dusk Mantle, and every time it does a damage, they have to do mill again. So then it's just an infinite loop again. Once it either mill or they lose the damage. I love decks that have got loads of win cons. This one's got four different win cons, it's great. Uh, this one here, you basically, it takes a little bit to set up. You have Retreat of the Coral Helm, Walking Atlas, a Hendron Crab, and a Balanced Land in your hand. So you have, obviously, the other three on the battlefield. You then, obviously, play the land which bounces, brings it back to your hand which then obviously triggers the Hendron Crab which then opponents have to mill three cards. What you do then is you tap Atlas, uh, Walking Atlas, you then play the Balanced Land again, you bring that back to your hand, and then obviously because I've played a land, the Retreat of Coral Helm says basically you can untap, um, untap whatever, up to untap a permanent. So what you do then is you untap the Walking Atlas, you then play the Balancing Land, and you keep doing that, the Hendron Crab will make them mill three cards each time that you play that land. So great, great win con. It can take a little bit to set up, and if other people know what you're doing, they will try and obviously stop it. Now, if you want to know what the full deck list is, it is in the description below. Check it out and let me know in the comments what you think, what maybe could change, what you think could be better. Now, if you want to support the channel, in the description below, we have my Patreon link, which then you can help support the channel, or you can buy me a coffee, which also helps support the channel massively. What I also recommend is that if you want to try the deck out before you buy it, then either use the Moxfield playtest, or what you can do, what I personally do, is I'll print the cards out, and then I'll play them on proxy and play people on like spell table, as long as you put in the game that you're gonna be playing with proxies. No one really cares. Play the deck, see how you feel. There may be a few things you want to change, there may be not, but it's a great way to suss out the deck before you start spending your money. The next few decks that I'm going to be creating, I've got Golem, Obsessed Stalker, there is Adventurous Hobbit, and a Loyal Attendant. Then there's Will Helt, the Rot Cleaver. Now once again, if you want to support the channel, then please like and subscribe. But if you've not wet your whistle enough with this uh, deck tech, then watch this one next.